Hello everyone, Vicki Ashard here with Nature's Best Art. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be making a birthday card. And the last couple of weeks I've been making birthday cards and sympathy cards and I'll show you those later in the video. And I'll show you the materials I use to make those. But now, right now I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can see uh, what card we're gonna to make today. So we're going to be doing some embossing today. And um, this is actually um, a, this red and yellow and the blue uh, was a, a, from a design that I made uh, that I actually cut it up. Uh, I didn't really want to uh, do anything with it but make cards. Um, and so um, then I added the hills, uh, the landscaping, and the trees. And so um, what I did was um, I took another piece of paper uh, that I already had. This is um, made from my leftover paint and I want to make this uh, bluer and this redder. Um, I'm going to try to get it like this because I really like this a lot. Uh, and it's going to be interesting because this is actually on Arches paper and this is on Strathmore paper which is a lot, you know, the Arches paper is a lot more expensive. So let's get started. Now the colors that I want to use, I'm actually going to uh, be using some leftover paint from another design and uh, let's see this is Prussian blue and that's a really deep blue and then in my uh, container here that I used in 2016 this was actually all full when I took it to Bar Harbor Maine and um, I didn't have a travel kit so I put it in an ice cube tray and it worked um, and so these are the only two colors that I have left and I want to put uh, use some phalo blue on here and let's see what else. And um, some, see if I can show you my big palette. Uh, some, here's my pyro red, my permanent, let's see, can you see that? Pyro red, permanent alizarin crimson, and then my yellows um, to make the oranges yellow. Because I don't have orange. This is gamboge, and it has a tint of orange, but, but it's mostly, it uh, appears yellow. And this is uh, azo yellow. Well, this this one's azo yellow. This one here. Let's see. Can I get that? Yep, azo yellow, and this is um, Hansa yellow deep. Um, so uh, just a slight. This is a, a little lighter than this one. And uh, so those are the colors I'm going to be using. And uh, so let's get started. Uh, I'm 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 on my craft mat. I don't have any. You know, I didn't put it on any board or anything. Um, because it was just cut like this. So um, what I'm going to be doing for the first time, I'm going to try this out. I'm going to put some um, masking tape on the back because I don't want it to be sliding around. I'm going to tilt it like this a little bit because that's how I generally paint, kind of tilted like that. So let's start with uh, the sky and we're going to make, we're going to try to make this uh, really red. So a little water on our brush. I'm going to be using a number 30, 30 round. It's uh, quite big. I think it's going to take a few glazes to do this. See now my, uh, you know, my paper won't move around. This is Quidacidum Rose. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's red too. Really red. That's pretty, isn't it? I'm going to add some yellow to that actually to make that a little orange now this part here I want to make a little bit a little bit more yellow in the bottom there it's getting orange there I don't really care if it gets on the bottom of the card on the bottom there. I'm going to be making that blue anyway. That looks kind of nice for our first glaze, I think. Kind of streaky. Okay, I'm going to be adding some quinacinum rose. Make that a little darker. And some more of that yellow. Make it orange. that yellow right down here see here it's 
streaks of yellow up here. I like that a lot right there. That's what I wanted to have a little bit just, you know, and not to really show the the sun particularly, but just so that it uh, it appears to be setting. Okay? I'm going to draw this again. Okay, and just because I do want it more yellow here. I see how that was yellow and it turned uh turned a little green there and then I just want a few more yellow streaks so um, I'm gonna go in with my number 12 see how my other one is kind of yellow kind of like that I'm putting the color on but then I'm gonna have to go in and put some water. Now that looks nice. I like that. Yeah, I need some more water on my brush here. So let's see. But you know, when we dry it, now it's gonna be just a little bit less yellow probably, but I do like that. That looks nice. Yeah, I don't want it to really look like paint. I want it to look realistic. That's the kind of painter I am. You can see some paint strokes. That's okay a little bit, but not too much. Okay, if it dries yellow like that, I like it. Okay, I might have to make this a little bit more yellow, but I think it's going to be okay. Now, I'm going to dry that one more time. Okay, I got some fresh water and now we're ready to start and I think what I'll start with is my Prussian blue in the back because I want to go a little darker right by the sunset here and uh, the horizon line and I think I will use my let's see my number 30 if I do that I am going to go up right up here and well you know I think that'll actually cover that because uh, Prussian blue is very dark okay so here we go Turn in a little green right there. But uh, you know what? This is only our first glaze. Oh, that's a pretty blue. Isn't that pretty? Wow. That is really pretty. I really like that. And let's see. Now I'm going to use this phalo blue here. Make it darker. Whoa! I thought Prussian blue is darker. Well, boy, I sure didn't make that horizon line straight. That is going to be really nice. Oh, I have to have a steady hand. A steady, steady hand. But you know what? It's going to be okay because we're going to put a landscape there. And it's going to look just fine. I got it a little up there. So let me... Let me go here. Let's see. Start from there. I'm not too concerned about it because, like I said, I'm going to put a landscape there. Now, I didn't have a name on this. I think this is Phalo Blue, though. Actually, I'm curious because I thought that Fa I mean, this is Prussian Blue. I'm getting my blues. Prussian Blue. And Prussian blue was always darker. Let me see, let me do this now. There, that's dark. The Prussian blue. I just didn't have enough on my brush, I guess. Yeah, I could see the difference. Can you see the difference? That's a that's a lighter than the Prussian. Okay, I was wondering. All right. So we're just gonna go back and forth. And you know, water has a uh, ripples in it and wow look at that wow don't you love brilliant colors sometimes sometimes I like pastels but I do like like really intense colors too it's just watercolor so exciting you know actually 
So we want to make kind of like streaks in the water, right? Okay, take that a little bit out there because it's quite dark. There we go. Oh, I like that. You like that? <laughs> okay, now we got to dry it. Okay, now I'm going to pick this up. Remember, it's taped down. And I probably have a little bit of uh, color on the back that I am going to have to dry. So, I'm going to wipe this off first because I don't want to get any color now on my, on that side. I'm going to have to dry this other part. Okay, there we are. So, so here is the arches paper. Well, and then this one's not complete yet. And this is the Strathmore. Which one do you like better? Let me know in the comments. This is the one that's uh, less expensive. But we're not finished yet. So, let's get our base here. And, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it like kind of high up there so that we're going to put our happy birthday sentiment there and then we're going to be um, embossing right here like this uh, this this is embossed can you see that right there we're going to be using that uh, stamp there so uh, i'm going to be putting this on So uh, that was my ATG gun. So now I'm going to be putting it kind of high. I think that'll do best because my sentiment. All right, you just eyeball it as best you can. Okay, and I love that ATG gun. The glue is it just you know keeps it. It'll, it'll just never come off. <laughs> it's it's very good. Um, okay, now we're going to be doing uh, some embossing. Okay, I found it. Now, this, uh, just to talk to you a little bit about this, this is, uh, you probably have one of these um, if you're a stamper. And they're, they're real nice. And you know, I have a small block. Well, you know, I need to use this because it's bigger. But my small block that I have, you know, it's about like this, this size. I cannot find it anywhere. And I, it's been missing for a long, well, it'll show up. Anyway, okay, so we are going to emboss. So this is my Versamark pad, my embossing pad. I have that upside down, there we go. And what I do is I put it on like this. And we're going to open this card up so that it's flat put it on like this just because I think it would look nice on this card these are real nice because you can see exactly where it's going to hit there I want it right there and just press down and then I'm going to get my black embossing powder which I actually already have from that other card that I made and I'm going to be putting it on this card right here, like this, just because I don't like to, to throw things out. I have enough here for my other card, you know, and then I'll put it back in my container. These, by the way, <coughs> excuse me, these, um, this embossing powder is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it's from uh, Stampendous. And uh, it comes in all different colors, and I just love this stuff. Put that on. I was actually going to do that in blue, and I forgot. But black is good, too. 
because we're going to have black on our sentiment. That looks nice. All right, now I do have my heating tool. And uh, I really like this. This is a, a Milwaukee. That turned out real pretty. All right, and you know what? I am going to, because this is black, um, I like to put something inside my cards uh, so that when I send it out, I can write on something that's uh, lighter. So uh, I am going to put that on. Let's see how I want this. Do I want it like that or like that? I think like this. Yeah, with the, with the kind of the edge that was torn the torn look right there. So I'm going to put only one strip of uh, my ATG gun on the top. And I'm going to put that right on top. Right like that. There we go. Okay, now let's, uh, because of the heat, it got, uh, you know, it bent it a little bit. But you know what? I can flatten this um, you know, when I'm done with it, off camera, I'll flatten it under some books, I think. Okay, now, um, let's do our sentiment. Okay, this is my, uh, happy birthday sentiment from No Name. Doesn't have a name on it. Probably got it at Michael's. Okay, so I'm going to emboss this also. So let's use the uh, embossing pad. And I'm going to be I'm going to be holding it with a, an eraser so it doesn't burn my hand. I can use my Sharpie, this is my black Sharpie, because it didn't get on right here. If it doesn't turn out, I, I use my uh, pens. Boy, do I have, you know, I have, I can see the embossing uh, powder. It just went, uh, went on my craft mat a lot, actually. I can take wipes and wipe it. Look at that, see? Okay, I'm going to be putting that right here. Okay, for the landscaping, I'm going to go in with some uh, Inktense uh, uh, Derwent watercolors uh, pencils, okay? I just wanted to show you that box. It's kind of a cool looking tin box. Um, and uh, I've had these for a long time and I really like them. I'm going to be using uh, the charcoal gray. That's number 2100. And then um, a light olive and that's uh, number 1540. So we're just going to be going right over our paint, which is fine. We don't want it too even. And then uh, on this side, okay, just a little bit on this side, okay. And I'm going to be coloring that in. Okay, let's use our pencils now. Uh, these 
these are going I'm going to use the green first the uh, the light olive okay to make our trees Okay, then I'm going to go in with the black. And I'm going to take my number four brush. Activate that watercolor pencil. Okay, now we're going to put our sentiment on. It's going to go right here, right in the middle there. And uh, I love this um, tape that I use. And I have to tear it a little bit. I think I'm going to get my scissors to cut it, actually. I just need a little bit more on this side here. These are nice scissors. They're from Tim Holtz. Take care of that part there. My other part here. Okay, so let's get that kind of in the middle of the card. And there's our card. I think it's really pretty. I think I could, you know, mail this, I think, to a man would like this. Maybe one of my sons. And uh, write, write something in there. And now uh, this was a Strathmore watercolor paper, and this is the arches. They're quite different. Uh, the arches has uh, some tooth on it, so it's uh, it's quite different. Where this is smoother. See how smooth that is? Which one do you like? The arches. Let's see if I can put that. There we go. The arches. or the Strathmore watercolor. Okay, I zoomed out because I want to show you something before I show you the other cards that I made uh, uh, this past week. Um, remember the foam uh, uh, tape that I put, um, the Mountie tape that I put under there? I couldn't think of the name and I wanted to uh, show you. It's by Scotch and it's really nice. Uh, so if you ever want to use that, uh, that's really nice when you make your cards. Okay, so let's uh, see the other cards that I made. Okay, I had a lot of fun, and this one was made out of stencils that I had. And I used a lot of different colors. Put a ribbon on there. And whenever I put a ribbon on, I always uh, put a piece of paper in the middle so that, you know, I have the ribbon taped. And I even went on the back. I thought that was kind of fun, you know, to, isn't that fun to see that even on the back a little bit? And uh, then uh, this uh, is from a stamp, and then I cut it out with my uh, Tim Holtz scissors. It cuts really nice for detail work. And this is my pressed floral work. And it's actually scraps of the prints that Tom uh, prints our press floral work and I rejected it somehow. I always say, why did I reject it? It's such pretty, such pretty color, but uh, I did and I was, uh, these are my scraps. Uh, this is just one box uh, full of scraps that I have actually. Um, and uh, what I do is I cut them away from the design, you know, the carnations, the roses, uh, real pretty pansies, you know, that I could use on cards. Uh, the lilies, they're under here. Oh, here's uh, here's an orchid. So, um, you know, I don't th throw too much, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> away. And uh, I love making cards with these. And um, so I thought this turned out really pretty. I really like it a lot. And then uh, the next one was a happy birthday card. 
and uh, this is my pressed floral work also. And this design, let me show you this design. I took it out in my book to show you because I think it's really pretty. My, uh, it's called Petals of Love. I made over 100 designs. Um, and so I have actually a book of all my designs. This is uh, called P Pink Lilies. Isn't that a pretty design too? So that's in our um, press floral gallery on the website if you ever want to look at that. And um, so uh, this this uh, sentiment here, what I did was I actually kept um, a, this, which I've used on my um, you know card making. And uh, I thought, you know, one day I'm going to make uh, a sentiment, I'm sure, and I could uh, use that as a template. So that's what I do. I save, save these two. And uh, that turned out real pretty, I thought. This is my watercolor panel that I actually, I, um, I, you know, I, I made a video of that too. And what I um, let you know is that I save my paint in my palette and I don't, don't throw it out between uh, paintings. I, I uh, actually put this on, this is a Strathmore uh, watercolor paper. And that's really nice uh, to use for panels. Oh, and isn't this beautiful? I just love this. And I also save my water uh, watercolor scraps. And what when I say watercolor scraps, I'll show you. Uh, see, like this was a card that Tom printed. Uh, it was uh, out of my tulip design, and he, you know he thought, uh, well, let's 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 blow this design up, and um, you know, and, and have it for a card. I will. I looked at it and I go, well, it's not. <laughs> so, uh, you know, he printed it to, to size, actually. And it's a really pretty card that we um, offer. But, um, so what I did is, um, I, you know, I, I use it. I said, don't throw it out. You know, he knows uh, that I always use my scraps. Uh, so um, I, I just cut one of the tulips out. And this was my, you know, and I pasted it on here. And then this was my uh, watercolor paper. Isn't that just beautiful? I just love this. And this is, um, I should probably tell you who makes, uh, let's go back. Let's, let's start here. This happy birthday um, is made by, um, boy, I can't read this. These <laughs> oh, impressions. Something impressions. Um, oh, no? Maybe that was the name of it. It's called Rubber Stampede, uh, and they are in Berkeley, California. I got this years ago, so I don't know if they still offer that, but I, I use it quite a bit. Uh, okay, so that was that. And then this one, let's see. This one, who made this one? Oh, that's the no name. That's the one that uh, uh, we just made today, and I used it on here, too, that had, uh, I don't know who makes this. I probably got it at Michael's or Joanne Fabrics. Can you see that okay? Yeah, there you go. It's the light is kind of, there we go. There, now you can see that. Happy birthday. That was the same um, stamp we made today on the card we made today. Now this one here, who made that one? Hero Arts. And I got, I, I've, I've had my stamps for, <clears throat> excuse me, a long time. And then, um, so anyway, so that was pretty. And I used that embossing, that color um, embossing, which I really love. Uh, okay, so I can put this away. I just wanted to show you, uh, explain to you what my, when I say scraps, that's, I actually call them decorative art collection. I think that's a little better name, but, um, but they are scraps, um, but they're so pretty. Now, um, this frame, I made this out of uh, this template that I saved a long time ago. I have a, an envelope full of them that I saved over the years, and I thought, you know, one day uh, for my card making, or, you know, sometimes I make wedding pages when someone gets married. I like to do that, and, um, you know, put uh, so they can write. Um, I put, you know, that they can use, put their pictures uh, in. They're like a real nice frame. And all I did was I cut a little bit of hole there and I cut here, 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 and here. And then I um, used my Tim Holtz scissors uh, to do the cutting. And uh, it turned out real nice. You can use an X-Acto knife too, but I just grabbed my scissors. And uh, I thought that made a really pretty frame. And I love this uh, sentiment with deepest sympathy 
and uh, that is made by uh, Stamp Abilities. So, um, and then I use my foam squares, you know, here to put uh, put the frame on. And this is actually uh, Japanese anemone, uh, African violet, and hydrangeas. So I thought that, and that's, those are my pressed floral scraps. And then uh, this one looked real pretty. I thought our caring thoughts are with you during this difficult time. And that's made by Hero Arts. And uh, these are my pressed floral scraps. And sometimes I make butterflies out of my pressed flowers. And uh, this is, uh, see that, this is uh, what I put here. It's just my, I'm with colored, uh, with my stamping, my, um, you know, you use your blending tool. So that was real pretty, I thought. And this, I embossed the, the uh, sides of this, this panel here that I have. This is my watercolor panel. And this is, you know, embossed with that real pretty uh, embossing um, powder. And then, um, now this is uh, real pretty. This is a, a rose, um, the butterfly that I made in the hydrangea. It says, you're in my thoughts and prayers. And that is from, let's see, what does it say? Oh, Stampendous. That's Stampendous. Did I say I get all my uh, stamps usually from Michael's or Joann's? Um, so they have those there. And then, um, this is real pretty too. May you find comfort in your loving memories. And that is from Ink. Inka Dinka Doo. Let me see. Boy, that's so little. Yeah, Inka Dinka Doo. So uh, that looks like that. And this is a rose and a verbena, larkspur, and a um, delphinium. And uh, I did some embossing around there. And this is peach. Isn't that pretty? Uh, from my palette, my leftover paint. And then I used the, uh, the uh, stamp, you know, uh, colors for my stamp pads. I use my blending tool. And then this one is uh, from my cross design. Uh, that design actually has sold out. But that's my pressed floral work. And uh, that's a little pansy. I thought it matched real pretty with the design. And this says, with deepest sympathy. And uh, I already told you that that one was from Stampendous there. so. Okay, so that is all those cards that I wanted to show you. Okay, so here they are. I just love to look at them. They make me feel so happy, you know. And I'm um, so glad that uh, I'm able to use my materials and uh, all these beautiful colors. And then the one we made today. And, you know, I actually was going to actually make so many to fill this box here. See, it says, make a card with Vicki to sell. <laughs> um, but I have had requests, and it seems like every time I make cards, somebody wants them. So I do want to just let you know uh, that, that my cards are available for sale. Now, I'm not going to wait till I fill this entire basket. I want to let everybody know uh, that they can purchase my cards. They're four dollars. I just want to let you know too, I've made um, these wedding cards and they say congratulations uh, in the inside. And so there's that one. And I made like a little bouquet with the hearts and it says always Mr. and Mrs. And um, coordinated my colors. I thought they were real pretty. And then uh, this is a real pretty one. And uh, it says congratulations in the middle also. And then um, this is, says blessings on your wedding day. This was a little rose from my design. My designs that I used. My scraps. And this is a really cute one I thought. This is from my press floral work. I made a little uh, dress. And it says birthday wishes. It says enjoy. This is my, oh, I'm sorry, I keep um, hitting my microphone there. I hope that, that you don't hear that. Um, and this says Get Well. This is a real cute design that I had uh, from my press floral work and my uh, watercolor scraps. Get Well Soon. This says Hope You're Feeling Better. 
I think these are such awesome colors too. And then you may uh, remember this one. Um, this is Thinking of You. I made this in a video. And this one I made in a video. You're in my thoughts and prayers. And some of these have sold already. So I don't have a lot of these from my other videos. And um, because people keep asking me, I just want to let everybody know <laughs> that they are available. And isn't this pretty? This is a uh, up close cardinal, cardinal in my garden. And we made that on a video too. And now, um, so like I say, my um, I call them my original handmade cards. And like I say, they do uh, sell for four dollars. And uh, you can actually, I have two types of five by seven cards. These are my um, make a card with Vicky cards, and you know the original handmade cards. And then um, my other watercolor 5x7 cards, um, I sell for $4 also that we uh, print my all my watercolor designs, most of my watercolor designs. You can go on my watercolor uh, gallery and um, you can pick out some cards if you'd like. They're $4 each if you want one or three for 11. Uh, and then um, we also sell those in a box and uh, they're a box of 10 for $20 or we offer two boxes for $36. My original handmade cards, Make a Card with Vicki, they take a little bit more time. So that's why um, I sell them uh, $4 each. Thank you for joining me today and I had a lot of fun. Um, I love color and um, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching the video and um, please uh, share this with a friend. Until next time, happy creating!